This is the complete tutorial to scrap the CU email address from indeed.com. Before going to the main tutorial, I am requesting you, if you are new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video to your social media so other people can also learn from this video. And after watching this video, if you need my service at a cheap rate, please contact me. All my contact details you will find on the video description below, also on my YouTube channel cover page. Or if you want to hire some professional from Fiverr or Upwork.com, please click on the link on the video description. Or also if you want to buy the tools that I have used in that video, please click on the link on the video description below. I will give every tools details in my video description. So please always check my video description so that you can get all the resources. I am starting from beginning because uh, first of all we have to scrap the company indeed URL uh, because uh, if you click on that indeed URL you will see on the uh, company indeed URL there is the the CU name is exist so first of all we will scrap all of the company indeed URL so that we can get all the URL of that company from the indeed this way after that after scrapping all the indeed url a company url then we will collect the cu and cu name and their uh, website link from that url and i will use the octopus software to grab all of this so keep watching the full video otherwise you will not understand what i am exactly telling here so here you have to write your target keyword you already know this one and here you have to write the location so in this case i chose the receptionist and here i write the new york new york okay then click on find job i after searching using this searching criteria i found this data so first of all you have to copy this link okay i just copy this link and you have to go to the octoparson.com uh, octopus software as i have already I have, I have as I have already uh, see that yeah sure this in that you have already standard account so it is better now what you have to do just click on here new on the left side on the plus icon click on here new when you click on here new this click on here custom task when you click on custom task okay then this one paste the URL here so this is the URL click on here save when you click on here save this url all the page will be loaded here you see it is loaded here so when the all the page is loaded successfully then i am i am showing you the most easiest process as in that video my main target to get only the company url if you want to get the some other data that will be little more critical but as i only want to uh, grab this link here so i don't want to focus any anything uh, any anything else okay anything other so this is the company link uh, here uh, then we have to do i am just going this one so i have already created this one so here this one okay this this will be your job what you have to do just click on here auto detect web page data select this one because it will help you to auto detect all the data here so i am detecting all the data here so all the data i have detected here okay so all the data that are already selected is uh, is just here and you can see the all the preview and these are the thing we need here I am just showing you. You see that this this is the indeed.com slash cmp means company slash New York. So this is the data we actually need. So I am just going back to my previous work so that I can explain here. So this is the thing you have understand. I have successfully. So here what you have to do. You see that. So uh, okay. So these are the data successfully. Um, created then what you have to do you have to check both of them page in it to scrap more page and this one add page scroll okay check this one click on here create workflow when you click click on a create workflow you see here a pagination a diagram here pagination scroll page loop item extract data and click to okay so this is the total thing we have get successfully here and these are all the data we have found here okay 
this is the total thing now uh, you can change the name here this is actually not required because actually these are not my target data so i don't i will not take any action here but the most important thing that we have to done after getting this one okay you will get this one then what you have to do this one okay i'm just showing you i will also give that otp so that you can use it try it try this one okay go to page so it is working here then what you have to do please note that here the time frame is beach second 20 second so it is 20 second here then click on here pagination it is it is all are okay here pagination then click on here scroll page so page will be scroll here here what you have to do the scroll page it will be in default size bottom this will be the bottom of the page here wait you have to increase the time here wait so i have and to check this one end loop when there's no more okay and you have to raise the time three second or four second at least okay i just give here three second randomly you can also try this three second okay this is the three second then what you have to do click on here apply when you click on here apply three second it will be three second then then click on here loop item and when you click on here loop item you don't need to do anything here again click on extract data okay these are the extracted data so you don't need to do anything here then click on here select all i am doing this to checking my system is working or not okay so on that page click to all you have to do the most important thing click on here absolute export okay you have to choose the absolute export and we have already written the export for you this one is the export i will give that export to you so that you can also use it um, uh, so that you see that these are the exports paste the export here i paste the export here okay these are the export we have found okay please be careful that as there is no empty space uh, empty space before the text or the less or after the text okay so be sure that about it and after that here this time frame just of course give the time frame here at least 20 uh, at least at least you have to give the time second 10 second if you give the less time there are lot duplicate may come so if you give some more time more 10 second or 15 second you will get the fresh data okay so this is the most important thing here after that just click on here apply when you click on here apply it will be applied so our configuration to get the company url is now okay just click on here save button it is just saved then just click on here run when you click on here run this pop-up window will appear then from here choose the standard mode or if you have the boost mode you can do it but i always prefer the standard mode because you can see the update here so i just click the standard mode here and on the standard mode it will come here then click on here show browser if you click on here show browser you can see what is actually happening here then again click on here this one so and i'm just showing what is exactly coming here so it is just uh, running and you see that it has already scrapped uh, 15 data and the most important thing you have to notice here that duplicate zero line and yes again we have found total 30 lines because each page normally contains uh, each page normally contains 15 business data here and we are getting the data this way so 68 lines per minute this is the most easiest way i know uh, and i have already explained in this video after using all this feature uh, carefully although you may come some duplicate here uh, it we cannot anyone cannot guarantee about this one again we you find the more duplicate here please increase the time frame on the click to button okay so click to button there we have uh, pay with there we have write the 10 second there we have give the 10 second so here you can give the fif uh, 15 second okay so you see here it is just uh, scrap scrapping the data okay this is the thing so i hope this i hope uh, this system uh, you have learned now i will go to the next step 
so i hope you would, uh, now you don't need to do anything here just go to your bed or go to uh, enjoy that time with your children or some anyhow no problem uh, this will uh, scrap all the data uh, on that page after scrapping all the data it will stay it will stop automatically or you don't need to do anything here so i just i am just stopping this one okay i stop this one okay confirm okay export data here export data i hope uh, as i don't want to export the data because uh, i also want to close this one because i have already done the all thing for you and i'm showing you the next step download button so this is the our first data that we have scrapped yes this is the first data we have scrapped and you will find a uh, excel sheet exactly like this one and this our company url okay these are our company url now what you have to do here just uh, okay uh, this one excel i'm using microsoft excel here and i am i'm free stop row and i these are company url that are our next company url okay now i just filled sort the data here okay just sort the data okay if you want you can sort the data or if you don't want uh, okay it is not problem select this one okay company url call values a to z okay a to z so i found here lot of lot of data are unwanted still lot of duplicate here maybe some duplicate okay company page are here duplicate you can find the duplicate now if you want to remove the duplicate uh, web pages here you can easily remove the duplicate here but if you don't want to duplicate it's just your wish but i want to uh, i want to duplicate i want to remove the duplicate here to remove the all duplicate url company url and to save your time i just select the whole sheet okay then click on here remove this one remove duplicate and unselect all this okay my data has header and company url i will delete all the duplicate based on the company url because i only need the company unique company url okay then okay click on okay so you see that four six five duplicate is removed so all the duplicate is removed from that page okay so we have found total we have found 500 nine uh, fresh url from here so this is my next this is my next url the higher we will start the job now first of all what you have to do uh, after after completing the filtering uh, removing the all duplicate clean cleaning the data in excel what you have to do just select all the link here i select here 508 control c again go to the octopus here okay again you have to go to the octopus then again click on here custom task and click on here custom task in that section enter manually just paste all the url here okay i paste all the url then click on here save when you click on here save this page all the page will be loaded here so this is our company page from where we want to get the CU and other details okay you see this is the company page here so first of all what we have to do here i want to here you can do anything that you want but i am showing you the major step uh, here i want to get first of all i want to get the company name here okay i just select this one okay i hope you already know this one how to select this select this one and click on here extract the text of the selected element then you will see the preview here so this is the extracted then you see here the company CU is not exactly work uh, exist here but we can we can take the url of that okay then click on here okay just click on here and extract the text of the selected link okay extract the text again here click on here again then again you have to take the extract the url of the selected link and when you just hover the mouse on that text you can see the preview okay you see here is the preview website link okay i just click on here extract and here you will see all the preview here now what you have to do so we have found our text one this one url so now you can write the 
change this one so I just write biz so it's a business name again URL so you can write this one URL text one okay we can keep this one text URL text one and we can write this one URL one okay I just write this one URL one now uh, again you have to take because as I don't found any CU here uh, we have to take uh, CU uh, now I am take this web page the second web page manually we have to take second web manually uh, now I am teaching my I am teaching my uh, scrapper how it will scrap the data first of all you have to train your scrapper so I am just making the training here okay paste it here on the URL on the location bar and click enter when you click enter you will see the something here so again you found hotel so this hotel is appeared here but you see here uh, this link actually is not working here you see that it is not working again we, we we have to click on here okay click on here extract the text of the year uh, okay again click on here extract the URL here and from here you have to chase this one this will be our text 2 okay this will be our URL 2 okay URL 2 now again click on here save okay every time you have to save I am I am you have to find out some uh, pages randomly so where our okay again follow the same same process I am just trying to find some few people okay you see here it is not actually working here it's only the company name is scrapped here but the URL is not scrapped here so these are URL URL not scrapped here so again you have to follow the same system click on here extract the text of the selected link okay again click on here and extract the URL and you have to change the name to this will be URL 3 okay this will be URL 3 I hope you understand the process now I pause the video because it is just uh, the video is becoming more uh, lengthy because I will randomly found some pages and uh, then I will show you the same system uh, okay let me find if anything we found from here so still people yes we found this one I am taking this one so that we can okay I am taking this one for you so that you can understand okay I am taking this okay see you we found see you and also website links so I am copy this link here and want to octopus copy this one okay copy this one okay this, this is our page so here I uh, go paste it here and enter click on enter and when click enter you see that so new we found you see New York University this is comes here and text one is you see here text one is education text one is education comes here with some other link but our main target is this CU and name and the link is not comes here so we have to now again we have to select this one is CU okay extract the text to selected element again this one okay this one extract the text to the selected element so we have found our CU and this one and now, now we have taken select this one this one extract the text of the okay extract the text of the selected link okay again this one extract the URL of the selected link and here we have to change this one so this one will be our title okay title this one will be our name name okay name and here we have to write this one okay text so we have already found that uh, text 3 text 4 so here really it will be text 4 and it will be our url 4 okay url 4 so this is the thing we have found click on here save again we have to take some other uh, one or two uh, randomly no problem it is just showing the process so that you can understand the main logic so just okay paste it here so here you see that we have found our we have found the company name and but the other thing now what you have to do for better understand uh, we have take okay title so I just copy okay drag this title okay 
drag this title here title and also drag this name okay see that drag this name we have found only the company but not found this one because the the system we have built still not capable to find this one okay you can see you see actually it's only scrap the company name now again select this one cu extract the text of this one okay again click on here this one okay extract the text of this one and we found okay I'm you see that this one so this will be title 2 title 2 and this will be the name 2 this will be the name 2 okay we have found name 2 now the, again the website is missing here so it again choose this one okay extract the text of the selected link here again again this one extract the url of the selected link so we have again found all the thing here so text so it will be our text 4 so it will be our text 5 so it will be our text 5 it will be our url 5 okay url 5 so this is the system you have to or uh, you have to follow you have to uh, this one because i don't want to miss any data uh, if you do randomly uh, three to five or seven uh, then you are finished i mean the process is finished and then you have to you have to uh, don't do anything more to uh, for missing data okay it will you have to done this one just for one time and then then it will be uh, okay you don't need to do anything here so here so we, as few people is not working only found this one so i'm just showing okay you see that we have found the uh, url we have found that company name only but still not found the url okay just checking no url missing so i am again doing this one okay this one extract the url of the selected link okay okay extract the url okay just rename this one if you want it is just for better understand so it will be text 5 it will be text 4 6 and it will be url 6 okay so you have to do this for to, so that you can uh, don't miss any data i hope you understand the process now click on here save okay when all are done okay i have i have successfully done everything now you have to just click on here you do so every setup is okay now just click on here run button okay just click on here run and again choose the standard mode to sh sh to see what is exactly happening here so now we can see our update if any data is missing or anything so you see that business name title name here you see that it has scrapped the business one and text one website because our main target is to get the website so you see that the magic is happening here so why are the CEO follow this system it will be in this system this column and when the when the uh, this will be in when the rules will be in this row it will follow this row it uh, if something is follow this system so i hope you understand the system <laughs> although my english actually is not so good like you but i hope you understand my system so that if you understand my system then i am happy because it's my main system to make everything clear so this way you don't need so after uh, after running this scrapping system uh, you don't need to do anything here so you can the same way you can go to some you can do some other work the scrapper will automatically uh, automatically scrap all the data and you have to just wait until it has complete the system and you see it is just working you can see the update here okay you don't need to do anything here now i am stop the this system uh, because i want to show you the next cleaning process how you can get the website and to and separate the first name last name and other thing okay so i hope this makes everything clear now i want to stop this one again for you okay stop this one okay i want to stop this one export just click on here export data okay click on here export data 
then it will comes this way export data i don't want to export because i have already done this okay i am just showing you the next step so this is the first row we have done already now go to the second one okay so this is our second data sheet so you see here this is our second data sheet so here we have found the data exactly we will found the data is this way okay you found the data this way in that section you will find the business name here you will find the all that CU, here you will find the name some here you will find the company here url you will find you will find a more uh, more uh, column here okay so now i am showing you how you can uh, validate the data first of all uh, you can you have to remove the data that actually not required so I'm, i am just removing the data from here for example i don't need i because i need the name so i will keep the name but i don't need the text one so just select this one and control minus it will be delete because i need only the url here again don't need this one delete this one okay don't delete this one keep the CU because if name also just delete this one okay delete this one so we have found we have already deleted some data now here you see that um, <coughs> here some website but there are there are some other data here uh, there are some other link of indeed so from here just uh, select okay okay this one indeed control C copy this one and select the whole column and from your keyboard click ctrl shift l when you click here ctrl shift l you will find the filter option here and from filter section text filter and ok contains contains click on here choose indeed.com select ok and you see all the rows that contains the indeed will come here so i will select all of them delete this one delete this one now select this one this select this column Control press Control shift l from your keyboard you see all the unwanted data is removed here now we can do the thing here again for the better work uh, okay select the free stop rules so that i can understand the thing here now okay select the whole sheet here and click on here sort my data has header okay i just choose from the last one url okay call values this one so we have found that all the data is this one okay control c i make it here manually i have to done this one okay we have done this one all will be removed now we have to do the same thing for the url2 select all these okay okay then select the same system url2 call values and we have found this has only three websites so only paste it here and uh, remove the this one so we have found our most available uh, website list here okay so now we have to find out the thing here uh, we have to find out the domain name from here we can find the domain name by this system just uh, select the column d column d and i normally use one of my best tool co tools for excel if you want you can use this one but if you if you don't use the co tools for excel then you have to follow the data tab here okay data and from here click on here the uh, text to column from here text to column just select the delimiter okay delimited okay then click on here next from here choose other and here you have to write this one okay just a slash and write the slash this one okay click on here next and here you have to select this one where to paste i want to select the next row next column okay then click on here finish you see that all the data now is more clean now remove this one both of the row column also this this one so we have found all our domains so this is our domain we can this is only the domain we have found here now if you want to use the domain this way it is good but if you don't want to use this way uh, here you can fresh your data more easily okay select this one select this cell control h 
ok to get the find and replace and write www dot www dot and here select replace all so when select replace all you see here all the www dot is removed from your keyword so this is the fresh domain name of that person of that website so this is the domain name we found now come to the okay now come to the name here okay i'm using i'm already told you that i'm already using code co tools for excel it has more advanced feature for excel so co tools then click on here okay remove space remove space leading and trailing zero okay now select this one whole sheet filter and we, we need the name bellows okay so these are the total name we found here now i select this and control h to remove some unwanted data for example doctor here is the data we don't need you have to check this one as i have found only the doctor i have removed the doctor here okay just doctor then click replace okay we have removed the doctor same way just sorry same way we have to remove the leading and the trailing space leading and trailing space so this is the fresh full name we have found for the CU people these are the CU people we found now select this here okay select all the rows or person's name here and from here I normally use uh, the co tools and on the co tools select co tools uh, select this one margin split okay then you will find the split name option uh, split name option and on the split name option you will find three option first name last name middle name okay okay select okay and select this one and you see here the name is splitted into first name last name here successfully now as the middle name is not required remove the middle name here also we can uh, so this will be the first name so this will be our first name here first name and this will be our last name this will be our last name and here or what you have to do this will be our domain okay paste it here this will be our domain we don't need this one okay and if you don't need any data that actually don't have few people you can easily remove this one so this is uh, my total complete data that we, where we can use so in that video i will show you uh, how i have uh, grab all of these email address within a few seconds and i'm telling the valid email address because so with the email address our system will also give the email verification status so in the uh, in the excel sheet you will see that accept all valid valid this is the email verification status also it gives the email score so the more the score the, the more the better the email address so let's start the main point i am closing this one now okay and to get the email address first of all what i need i am going to my browser and first of all we have to install a google chrome browser the name of that google chrome browser is email hunter i will also give that link on the video description so that you can easily find it or you can go to the google chrome web store and on the google chrome web store just here write hunter when you write the hunter okay so on google chrome store if you just write the hunter and click enter you will find this the google chrome hunter just install it it is super easy to install if you face any problem just comment on the video i will try my best to solve it as soon as possible so friends i hope you have successfully installed the hunter extension on your google chrome browser after installing the extension on your google chrome browser just click a just open a free account on hunter.com it is totally free just click on here sign up and give your work email address uh, it is a matter of sorrow that they normally don't take any kind of free email like gmail yahoo hotmail this kind of email address they don't don't accept you must need a valid business email address to create account there okay so i hope 
you can manage the Google you can manage the business account but if you want to buy or if you want if you don't uh, have the business account you can contact me I will manage the business account for you at a cheap rate so friends after creating the account here just click on here sign in okay as I have already signed in so I am just showing you the main process after signing on the account here just click on here okay finder just click on here finder and on the finder section you will find find by name find by article URL or on the top side you will find a list find email address from a list okay I just click on here find email address from list here okay so there you will find the new bulk email finder so here you have to write the co just list name so i have already write the co2 i just write my co2 and on the on the right side you will see the format so first name last name and the domain name and here uh, you see that i have already uh, i have already re ready my list here okay so this is the list I have already the first name last name domain name is okay now what I have done I have just uh, combined all of the thing in a in a another column so I just use the concatenate formula so I would concatenate formula the formula is here concatenate d1 this one d1 then I use the uh, this formula here and the last name and domain name so this is my total format I have done if you don't have don't know the concatenate formula uh, you can just comment on the video I will give that formula but I hope it is super easy you can easily manage it after that here just copy all this here okay, copy all this and I create a here okay uh, <coughs> I create a excel uh, I create a notepad okay I create a notepad and I paste it all the thing here so this is the notepad you see and I have uh, write this way first name last name and domain name okay this way domain 2 you can write this on domain or domain 2 this is just depend on you now close it here and I also want to close it here so that I can show you the next step so here what you have to do just select the file click on here select the file and here you have to do C1 okay choose this one and it is just uploading the file include the source in the result so I also want to include the source result here so you see that selected this file and all are ok now just click on here upload when you click on here upload this file is uploading and you will see all the format here so this is the first name column this is the last name column and this is the domain column and all are exactly ok here check this one first row as the header then click on here validate when you click on here validate you see here our our email and all data is extracting and you see that hold on your file is being prepared so it is just being prepared and you see already it has completed eight eight data okay and it's done so you see here as I have told that within a few second and I have kept my sentence that it had done few second okay so this is the total email verification status you will find here I just want to click on here download to show you the thing so buried email address no I want to get the full list okay click on here download okay then what I had what I download then I want to show you the what I have get from here so here I just uh, want to open the link here and this is the data we have found here okay so this these are all the data we have found here we have found the this because of privacy I just hide the email here so this is the email address we found and this is the email verification score this is also the email verification status and we have found the you see here 10 uh, 9 email address within a few seconds so friends this is the total process I just wanted to explain in this video so first of all what you have to do I am, I am deleting all this one first okay so I am deleting all of this first to for you then what I have done so I will copy all of the data from uh, sheet 2 that I have scrapped okay so I am opening the sheet here and I just copy all of this okay just copy this one 
okay just copy this and paste it here okay paste it here this is the i have done already for you after copy pasting the data then what you have to do just click on go to a google sheet and click on here extension and on the extension then you have to write okay just click on here uh, add-ons so just click on add-ons get add-ons okay add-ons get add-ons when i click click on get or add-ons here so a uh, google chrome add-ons section will appear here so here you have to write the add-ons name so i just want to write the add-ons so hunter so i just write hunter for sheet this one hunter for sheet right and you will find this is the hunter for sheet will appear you have to just install this hunter for sheet so it is super easy if you face any problem please let me know by commenting on the video i will solve your problem there but i hope it will not required you can easily install this extension uh, to your google uh, google sheet easily okay uh, as i have successfully installed the uh, as i have successfully installed the extension on my browser i just want to close it here okay i just close it on here so what you have to do now uh, as you see here please notice this very carefully in column a is the first name in column b the last name and in column c is the domain name so you have to follow this same system okay then click on here after uh, after formatting all of the data here just click on here so when you have successfully installed the hunter extension on the google sheet you will find this way okay just click on here open when you click on here open you will find this interface there but one more thing you have to follow that if you have not create any account on hunter you have to first create a account on hunter.com okay so you have to create a hunter uh, account on the hunter.com and it is super easy and you see here it is this is the hunter.com website link and if you just click on here sign up on the left side you see that free sign up you will find this option you must use your business email account to create account because they don't take any kind of a free account like gmail yahoo hotmail this kind of email address they not accept you must use your business email account i mean corporate email address to get their free account here if you have the business account it's uh, you can easily use it but if you don't have any business email account please contact me i can manage the business account for you at a very cheap rate so i hope you have successfully created the account now just to log into your account here and after that follow the next process so as you see that i have already created i have my account and i have already created one video how you have uh, used this uh, very uh, this one okay i have already used how i have i used the find email address from a list and i have already uploaded this video and i am showing you the uh, another method so here you see that as i have completed all of the thing here now you can use this method directly okay just here what you have to do just click on here email finder and then you have to follow this one column a of first name this is the column a a and the column of last name b and column of domain c and column of company name is d but as we don't have the company name i just keep it blank okay then my table has header yes my table has header now just click on here find email address when you click on here find email address you see that within a few seconds this system collected all of the email address and you see that it's also give the email verification status so accept all valid and also gives the email verification score email found and two of the uh, among that among that uh, they don't find the three email address here now you can easily check this system and i will create another video how you can find the missing email address if the hunter not find any kind of email address so using this method you can also grab thousands of email address within a few minutes so friends this is the total system i just wanted to explain in this video if you think you have learned something new from this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and of course if you need my service or if you want to hire some professional from fiverr or upwork please click on the please click on the link on the video description below and of course if you are a freelancer and you want to sell your service on fiverr or freelancer 
or any app work that please comment on the video i will create more videos about how to sell your service on fiber or app work or uh, any other marketplace thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video with more advanced tutorial